program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. It only takes a minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. And you can do it at doihaveprediabetes.org. But you're probably not going to. Nope. I'm sure you've got a perfectly good excuse. Kids, work. <laughs> I get it. You're busy. So what better time than now? Let's begin. Raise one finger if you're a man. Ladies, none yet. Oh, count in your head if you're driving. Now, three more fingers for everyone over 60, two over 50, one over 40, one more if you're not physically active, another finger if anyone in your family has type 2 diabetes, another if you've got high blood pressure. If you're overweight, raise another finger, two if you're very overweight, and three if you're really overweight. You've just taken the world's first audio prediabetes test. And if you're holding up five or more fingers, visit doihaveprediabetes.org. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. 971 the ticket. A CBS radio station. Sports headlines all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Good morning. We're brought to you by Troy Laser and Fab. Red Wings blow a late lead and fall in overtime to the Washington Capitals 4-3 to on Alex Ovechkin's power play goal. Wings head coach Jeff Blashill. We lost a special teams battle, so that was the difference. And, um, you know, we obviously, we scored a shorty, they scored a shorty. We had one on the PP, they had two, so we got to make sure we turn that edge. Um... You know, I thought it was back and forth. I thought uh, it was a good hockey game. Um, again, I thought we played fairly well, but we got to find a way to result, so we got to keep grinding. 115 to 111. Pistons fall on the road at Washington. Reggie Jackson led them with 21. Pistons and Knicks in New York tonight, 8 p.m. The tip right here on 97 won the ticket. Tigers declined their $16 million option on right-hander Anibal Sanchez right after they hired Ron Garden, hires a new manager for the next three years. Michigan visiting Penn State tonight, 7.30 to kick off on AM 950 WWJ. MSU against Indiana this afternoon. Running back LJ Scott will play after being ticketed his seventh time for dropping a license suspended. Justin Verlander, seven more shutout innings, and Jose Altuve drives in three. Astros over the Yankees, 7-1. Tying that series at three apiece, game seven today. I have the ticket update desk. I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 9701theticket.com. The following is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Alrighty, welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. I'm your host with an excellent panel this morning. We've got all our regular people, Alex Nafusi across Work the way. Work family. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Alex. What's happening? Of course, Mr. Harry Glanz over to my right. What's up, brother? How you doing? How you doing, Harry? Uh, you're out there at the Wings game, checking out the Little Caesars Arena last night. You know, it's phenomenal. The crowd's great. You know, the hockey crowd in Detroit is unbelievable. The excitement, the new arena. Loving it. Saw a great game, but guess what? We came out on the short end of last o night. O Ovechkin in overtime. That's just what he does. He's a great player, he's Hall good. of Famer. Yeah, he's a good hockey player. All right, it, was, it was fun watching uh, the entire experience. All right. Definitely fired it up there when they uh, when they made it 2-2. But anyways, the Wings will be back in action tomorrow, of course, here on 97 won the ticket. we got an unbelievable mortgage real estate show for you. We've got Brad Jordan over here from Realty Experts. Hey, Brad, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for the invite. All right. It's hey, a Brad Jordan you know, is from Michael Jordan of Washtenaw County. Yeah, he's he's the guy like that. Ipsy and Superior, and we were just naming all the cities Western out there. Western Wayne, he likes Dexter, Chelsea, Ann Arbor, of course, Ann Arbor. All right. Rough yeah. one. Hey, it's going to be a rough one tonight, brother. He's going to be talking. Oh, we're going to talk a little yeah, sports, too. It's going to be an interesting game. It's going to be we, a rough one. Also, going to be talking some real me. estate Say out your way. Me. It's going to be a rough one. It's going to be interesting. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Ron and Ronnie Jacobs from our office. Good morning, everybody. There you go, Ron. You're you well so known good, Ron. out there. You sound so good right now. Just yeah, so you thank know. you. Ronnie's, you look great. You're outstanding, buddy. Don't Ron, go crazy now. <laughs> Ronnie, of course, you're out there uh, always hitting the road, hitting all the real estate offices. No one's as passionate. Well, maybe I am, but you're definitely as passionate as any mortgage person out there, Ronnie. And you, uh, you love what you do, and you help so many families out there. Give us a call this morning. I'll tell you, we're here to help you. If you want to get an approval letter, be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funding or join us here on the show at Capital 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Hey, Harvey and Alex, let's talk to Brad about what's hot in Washtenaw County. I want to listen. We know Washtenaw is hot. The, the prices are going up. 
The bids and multiple offers are plentiful. They are. They are. Is it still hot right here as we sit here on October 21st? It is. If you if you bring a property that's priced correctly to the market and it's clean, it's going to have multiple offers, sometimes hours, days. Yeah. So Washtenaw, specifically Ann Arbor, has been hot since January of 2012. Okay, we're going into now the winter time, January of 2018. What do you foresee for the winter time in Ann Arbor? With the low inventory, I would expect properties to still continue selling very, very quickly. Prices continue to rise throughout the the winter time. Uh, you do get the seasonality where it falls off somewhat throughout the winter, but the last several years it's maintained throughout February even. So you know the calls that we're going to get today about Ann Arbor and Washtenaw County is should I buy rental property there? Well, if you're around University of Michigan, listen, the market keeps going up and up. Yeah, but do you want rental properties around U of M? With, I mean, not 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 college kids, but that's that's a higher risk rental market, man. Yeah. I think anytime you have high volume and high property values, you're going to run into high risk. I right. really think that uh, Ann Arbor has always been a first of all a great community. The rental market there is tremendous, and it seems that people always get their money back when. Uh, when they're doing things and investing in Ann Arbor. Ann, Ann Arbor is a straight, uh, strong rental market. Uh, I do think that uh, it, it is expensive for a lot of people to rent in Ann Arbor. Just, okay. you know, sure. People, Straight up, you got to become a homeowner. Hey, I Brad, agree. what about this? Of course, the hot summer, uh, you know, always the action here in southeast Michigan with the better weather. But, you know, typically things do cool down a little bit. There is some motivation out there for some of the sellers that just quite haven't sold their house for whatever the reasons are. You and I spoke about so it a couple of days ago. Yeah, usually it's the price. But there might be some other reasons. Also, what came to my mind is some of those families aren't really figuring it out that they can accept an offer on their house. They might be building a new house. In other words, I always want to know what the motivation of a seller is in any transaction. That really plays a part when you have, you're working with buyers. Yeah, the, the motivation for a lot of sellers is, is timing. And uh, one of the unfortunate things for sellers who need to sell their home to actually purchase one right now, they have – an inventory problem. They're not going to have any problems selling their property, but they're having a really difficult one finding, finding one, one. Yeah. being able to move into that and transition from one home into another. So we're seeing a lot of people uh, who are willing to move in with family members, have success. Uh, a lot oh, of people are, are kind of stuck in place <laughs> at times. Right, a lot of, but a great agent like you, and you talked about all these different strategies that are still being used out there. And again, some of the newer agents may, may be on this. Maybe they don't know how to do this, but the escalation clauses out there, uh, delayed closings for families out there that are building yep. new construction. There's a lot of creative things you can do to have your household to give you that confidence to move forward and make that Absolutely. new offer. Absolutely. Uh, we're seeing a lot of people get 60 days after closing, free occupancy to help accomplish uh, the goals that they have. You know, when you're building a home, a lot of the builders are, are narrowing down their timelines on when the property will be finished, which allows a homeowner to have better confidence in, I should put my home on the market now so that I can accomplish what I need to have accomplished. That's good stuff. But you know, Brad, it's, it's, it, that's the, the, the issue we have right now is that it's not a, the problem of selling your house. It's a problem of finding a new one. I mean, Absolutely. So you're going to sell your house at the top of the market, and you're going to get a bunch of money for it, but where are you going to go? All right. Alex has right. quadrupled down, and it's been verified. It was verified by Lee last week, a realtor extraordinaire was on our show like you are this week, that there isn't a lack of inventory. There's a lack of, say it with me, Alex, quality, quality inventory. Homes. So we've, quad, we've quadrupled down on that. We really believe that. And ever, from all indications, we're getting that verified by you guys on the street. We're a street company. You guys are on the street every day. And the street is telling us every single week that there's a lack of quality inventory. And if there was quality inventory, you guys... You guys would never run anything to sell. No, that's that's absolutely true. You just have to pay for it now. I mean, you have to pay. You're going to pay top dollar for, for a good house. Hey, for years and, and years and years. I think you, it's really important that a uh, buyer or seller understand the position that they're in. If they're coming from a position of power or if you're coming from a position of weakness, if you're selling your home, you're you're in the driver's seat right now. Right. When you turn around to buy a home, you have to realize you're, that you're no longer you're in the passenger seat. You're the right. so, <laughs> yeah. Brad, I'm glad you're you in the back seat. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that actually because it brought to mind quickly is that everyone out there is different. It's not what your family or your cousin or your friend told you what happened in their situation because everyone's working with a different amount of money they're working with, for example, even. And when you're out there making an offer, like I talked about the motivation of the seller or the buyer, right, you have to understand do you need seller's concessions. And if you do need seller's concessions, how to structure that offer to make sure that you get your offer accepted and make it a Absolutely. win-win for all parties. Absolutely. Hey, Brad, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring this up because it's my favorite subject. How oh, are you finding appraisals in Washtenaw County? Oh, boy. Ah, very good question. Uh, I think appraisals are uh, a nuance of every real estate transaction that you have to work through. Uh, 
I think if you do your due diligence, the appraisal values are going to come in. I, I do think we're in a time where agents are structuring offers so aggressively to get their contracts accepted that we are seeing appraisals that come in low. And at that point, you just have to work through uh, the transaction. First, review the appraisal, make sure it's accurate. If you don't find any glaring errors, uh, try to find comparable properties that you'd like to submit. So do, again, do you going in, you, you involve your seller in that. You tell your seller, Absolutely. hey, listen, here's the deal. I like that you're listening at 279. We get a, an offer for 275. Maybe the appraisal is going to come in at 270, and then we got to work with somebody. Yeah, you know, we're seeing a lot of appraisal over appraisal guarantees in Washtenaw County. Okay, so, and explain that for all our listeners that don't understand what that means. So, in short, basically, if a property is listed at 200000 somebody will write it 210000 220000 and guarantee to cover any deficiency of an appraisal. So you got to put a number on that, though, dude. They, you can't just say any deficiency. On what if it comes uh, at a hundred grand? In the city of Ann Arbor, as an example, most of them are absent of a number. Really? really? Yes. Really? That's yes. I would I would I, and, that's a that's a terrible idea. Look, in a competitive what if, market, what if it that's comes in one hundred thousand dollars? So, so, not, yeah, yeah, so you legally, you, I've got to cover the yeah, deficiency so, so, per so you the buy contract. A, you buy a house for two hundred thousand dollars. You say I'm going to waive the appraisal contingency, and it comes in one hundred thousand dollars. It's not going to. You. You're on the hook for one hundred thousand dollars. Not right. going to happen though, and because you're working. Yeah, we're using that for everybody out there. I'm just just hey man, just being me. That is what that means. However, if you're working with an experienced agent, he or she should be able to narrow down or discern within a reasonable. Uh, value range of what that risk may be. I understand. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's and listen, I see it all the time. Also, I mean, I'm on the same page. Then I think you know, if you want that house right now, like you said, like if you're if you're a buyer, you're kind of sitting, you know, you're in the in the passenger seat right now. I mean, you, the sellers are you know making the market. I just right. I would I would be very leery of of putting a, a client on the hook to say I'll make up any deficiency of the appraised value. You know what? I think everybody gets to work through that, Alex. I think we always caution people on the rare exception that happens, and there are those exceptions. But you know, it sure beats when we were coming in here six, seven, eight, nine years ago, and saying there's no business out there. What are we going to do? I agree. Do a land contract. Uh, you know, there's, you know, try to, Here, I've worked with you for 16 years. Rent with and option you, to buy. You, you, I mean, you've, you've always said manage the downside risk. Right. Manage and, the downside and, risk. And saying that I'll make up any deficiency on the appraisal. Yeah. I you know, know. I, I, but, but also, Alex, understand that that's not necessarily uh, the real estate professional saying this is what you should do. Right. Our role really is to it's develop the all the options and say, you know, if this is where you feel most comfortable, we can walk that path. Well, yeah, it's the client's lead. call at the last second. Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to it, yeah. All right, we take all your calls this morning, 248-539-9797. Keep it right here on 971 The Ticket. We'll be right back. Hi, Harry Glantz and Danberg for Capital Mortgage Funding. We do loans everywhere. In Southfield, in Birmingham, in Royal Oak, in Grosseal, in Detroit, in Canton, in Northville. No matter where you live, we want to do your mortgage too. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Good morning. If you're just joining us, we got a jam-packed show in about another 16 or so minutes. But you can always find us at Capital Mortgage Money. 1-800-LOW-RATE. What is that the music? The best mortgage. That's great what stuff. What was that? That's good stuff. That was Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Yeah, oh, that's, Rage, that's, oh, Rage Against the Machine. I, I like that. that is. I know who that is. Who's that, bro? It's great stuff. Really? Great stuff. Cool. Um, anyways, 248-539-9797. Yeah, okay. Having some fun here this morning. Again, we brought Charlie Lutz in from the Remax office. I said, Charlie, which office is that? Well, you know, it's nice that you say that. We've got six Multiple. offices. Yeah, we have. Uh, the, what makes it really nice for us is that we can pretty much take care of our clients wherever they live in the Macomb Town uh, Township area. The uh, We have one in Chesterfield. There's one in Shelby, uh, St. Clair Shores, Clinton Township, Warren, and we have a new office over in uh, Royal Oak. So, yeah, we can... We can pretty much take care of everybody, no matter what area you're in. And we did. We just listed a nice one too. That uh, a lot of times the people are really interested in the three car garages. Yeah. Well, we have one over uh, in Chesterfield. We just put on the market for two ninety four. It was a builder's model built in two thousand, and uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it has the pan ceilings, recessed lights, granite. It, it's an unbelievable house. We just listed, and uh, we put that one on the market for two ninety four. So if you're looking for a three car garage in a beautiful spot, it's over by twenty one in Sugarbush. 
that's one there that you'd want to uh, really take advantage of quick before someone grabs that one. Yeah, that sounds really great. Great opportunity out there. Again, sometimes if you can find a builder's model, they put all the whistles and bells in there. And Everything it's really is gorgeous. in it. It's got all the bells and whistles. All right, let's move off to some calls. And if you want to join us, 248-539-9797. Always on Facebook Live. Check us out. And again, like the Hardcore Mortgage Show. We appreciate it. Again, you'll find tons of information. We've been sending tons of information out there. And hopefully it'll help you purchase a new house or even sell yours. Let's move off to, uh, let's try uh, Mark first. And then we'll get to Eric. Good morning, Mark. Welcome to our show. Good morning, guys. What's um, on? Morning. My wife and I are looking at a place. It's listed as a lot right now, but there's an existing home on it. We just did a walkthrough with a realtor last week, and the home isn't in terrible condition, but it's my understanding the seller doesn't want to deal with the existing home. He wants to just sell it as a lot. It's not but his if choice. We were to come, what's that? It's not really his choice. Yeah, it's I mean, not it's, his it's, choice. it's your choice because we need an appraisal on it. Gotcha, gotcha. So if we were to kind of, would we have to come to the table with the money to bring it up to code for a mortgage to be written on the existing home, or how does that work? Maybe. Maybe. It, it, it depends how bad it is, Mark. I mean, if, it, if the home's really a mess, yeah, there's going to be stuff that you know, might get called out. Yeah, yeah. what's, what's your intent? Just, what's your I, intent to do with the home? Are you going to rehab it? Are you going to knock it yeah, down? I mean, what wanna, do you want to do? we want to rehab it. Because we walked through. I mean, you can live in it. Now, the basement's a little bad. You know, and structurally, we want to make sure the basement's not going to, you know, fall off. But, um, you know, it seems like we could put maybe ten grand to get it in up to code or something like that. And then, you It'll know, be more. It'll be yeah. more. You, you sound like a candidate for an FHA 203K or maybe even our conventional product. Alex, you want to jump in He's going to flip it, right? Is that, that's your goal, Mark? No, actually, you know, we got a young family, and, and we just, it's in a nice area. He wants we to live there. Oh, to. I thought it was going to be a, a flip. No, no. Um, Mark. Monday, come down and be part of the inaugural season at Little Caesars Arena as the Pistons take on the Philadelphia 76ers. Bogey and Wojo will be broadcasting live from the new Little Caesars Arena starting at 6. Tickets are available at Pistons.com. Download the all-new Radio.com app and listen to 97.1, the ticket, anytime, anywhere. 97.1, the ticket. All righty, welcome back to the show, 917, if you're just joining us. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call at the office, 1-800-LOW-RATES, the best mortgage banker. Always here live in the studio at 248-539-9797. We brought in Brad Jordan, professional mortgage, I'm sorry, mortgage. real estate, <laughs> real oh estate broker. Wow. There you go, remember, Let's stay in your lane. Real estate He's a realtor. broker. Dangerously knowledgeable. He's hey, a broker. Harry, is... Harry, Dan Leach just texted me. Yeah. He said, tell Harry it's not going to be tough in Happy Valley tonight, but it might be rough in East Lansing. Oh, oh well, love, you know what? You love know what? Dan Leach. You know what? He's the sports guy. I'm just a mortgage guy. <laughs> but Le- you said, Leach, stay, if you're, if stay you're in listening, your lane. That's I'm, I'm going to stay in my lane, um, and we'll see who's right. <laughs> Anyways, so we rarely talk about interest rates on this program, only every week. Um, right now, 30-year fixed rates are lower than they were in 1966. Wow. Okay, forget about 15s. Great time 15s are off the chart, and that's one of our favorite programs, a 15-year fix. Alex yeah. and I will tell you. Absolutely, man. As well as Harvey will tell you, we like to refinance people and shorten their term from a 30 or 25 into a 15. It just pays off the mortgage sooner if that's your long-term play and you want to stay in the house for a long time. But I think it's important for everybody to understand that you're at 
you know, you're lower than 51 years ago. When yeah. your parents, your grandparents bought a house in 1966, they were getting four and a quarter. Rates right now are in the low fours for a 30-year and in the low threes, low to mid threes for a 15-year. People don't understand the significance of that. They really think, you know, okay, this is normal. This is not normal. Okay, this is, we're at the lowest point in, at the low ebb and a five-year cycle. Rates have to start going up, yeah. which is why, you know, you're going to see. That's why houses go so fast. They go so fast because there's a demand for housing because rates are low. Absolutely. Yeah, and rents are through so, the roof, too, especially in your area. Go ahead, sorry. I didn't hear you. Rents are extremely yeah. high in any of the areas the, that you're selling homes in. Right. And you can get in. There are programs with good credit. You can get in 3% down conventional. Of course, 3.5% down FHA. FHA. You can get zero down on VA. So, I mean, there's a lot of programs, if you have good credit, pretty good credit to good credit, that you can get in for low down payments. We, we see quite a few of the USDA loans in Washington. Oh, right. It's, it's a great over. product. Yeah. We're actually the number one lender in the United States for that in most are, amount of time in USDA Fantastic. loans. Are we really? Yeah, I'm going to throw that out there. Be sure to call Capital Great. Mortgage. Check it out. Again, there are income limits on the program. I just stay in my lane. How did I even know? Right. Uh, USDA loans are still great, and there's plenty of money out there. And, again, that's a zero-down program, and you can use some seller's concessions, really low PMI. Lots of great programs, Harry, that you mentioned, including the 3% down conventional programs, FHA loans at 3.5% down, and, and so many uh, programs where we can actually hook you up with some down payment assistance. The MISHTA program is awesome. Mishita Capital is Mortgage great. knows Absolutely. how to handle it for our lower-income families out there. And, again, if you're out there Not currently— lower income. Well, there's income limits. There it, are income limits. There's yes. income limits. Don't say lower income. Low to moderate sounds... income. Moderate, thank you. Okay, well, moderate's better. a good word. Let me uh, let me back up one second though about the, the the whole interest rate thing that Harry brought up. You know, the whole people that talk about shopping interest rates, and I mean, I'm going to call 36 lenders and this and that. There are lenders out there that they know how to manipulate the a, a quote. I mean, the, the, you know, some of these huge conglomerates they'll quote you three and a half on a 30 year fixed. You know, and, and the rates only locked in for a certain amount of time. Well, so they'll lock it for 30 days, and they, they wait. They, le- they legit, they'll, they'll draw it out and say, well, oh, yeah, you blew your luck. Sorry. They'll play the bait and switch yeah, game. They'll, they'll tell you that man. there's a rate, and then they'll tell you they yes. don't qualify, but we can do this. Yes. They'll give you a rate, then the costs are going to be outrageous. You got Listen, Dude, we are I'm creatures. You, man. <laughs> human, human beings are creatures of habit. We always will get ourselves into situations and not learn from history. Okay, so a lot of companies got out of the business, and now they're coming back under a different masthead. The same players are in, yep. and the same people. Um, you know, there's a company that has a tree in it. There's a company that has a depot in it. Um, That's they, the one they, that I was referring to. Yeah, I know. They, they just quote you. It's a bait-and-switch tactic, and I can they're, say that. They're going to give you a rate. Because it was proven to me, and I oh, have documentation. Yes, yes. yes. And we 100%, have, so, man. We, have all all these, con- we also have connections in the title world, so we have a lot of the closers that we work with on a Listen, daily basis. After you've been around for 26 years like us, we know what we're doing. All I'm saying is that if you have a relationship with somebody, you trust them, you've been referred to them, you've worked with them before, or right. you know, it doesn't matter where it is, bank, other lenders, and, and they're solid and been around a long time, use them, Absolutely. okay? Use them. Absolutely. Yeah, don't talk to strangers. That's an old uh, yeah. line that we use. And, again, be careful. Why There's did, a lot of great lenders right here. Why do you use some company from, from California? It, it does well, nothing to help our... I'll be at your closing. I send you a nice little basket after closing. It's got a... What did your mother well, tell you about strangers? Lender, well, it, it, it really isn't going to benefit you in a local market like Washtenaw County. They well, The real estate agents... You're a multiple offer situation. You have five offers as a seller to choose from, right. and one of them has got a lender from California. Well, they're three hours behind. We don't want to be working at 8 o'clock when we're out showing properties trying to convey to that person. It, it just doesn't make sense. So you you're know, at a disadvantage you know, when your offer is being presented. Brad, to add on to that, I would mm-hmm. tell you that you got to go with the relationship. you got to go with somebody that knows somebody that's done a transaction. you got to use an appraiser from Washtenaw County if you're doing business in Washtenaw County. And you just have to have somebody that has knowledge, local knowledge, like in golf, real yeah. estate. It's very, very important. Absolutely. Local knowledge is extremely important. Oh, got to know the course. Yeah. Good yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, like the, I like the golf analogy, bud. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> hey, we'll take all your calls here this morning. It's 923 if you're just joining us. Again, the phone number here live in the studio, 248-539-9797. Always like to hear from you. And again, we talked a little about the mortgage rates because... 
Yes, it does play a part in any transaction, but the rates have been just stellar for so many years now. Um, we're really looking at a five to seven year run, if not even a 20 year run of some of the lowest interest rates around. Again, lots of volatility out there in the world. We talk about political events across the United States. Um, anything can happen at any time, and there's volatility in the market. And then Harry, as you mentioned, the Fed continuously talks about 23 to 50 percent that, yeah, in the December meeting, the Fed funds will look to move the Fed funds rate up it's a little bit. It's going up 100%. Which yeah. could yeah. eventually trickle down. Down to the mortgage interest rates, and now would be a great time to go ahead and consolidate your debts, add that first and second mortgage together, and pay off all those toxic credit cards. So a lot of things we can do to help you. 248-539-9797. Want to dive into a couple of things here. We were talking about maybe negotiating or a couple of your great well, listings out there. One of the things that I uh, wanted to mention today is we're seeing a lot of people with property tax who bought the property at a very low rate and now are selling it. So this cap that people often refer to is really impacting buyers after they close. Six, seven months down, they realize that the tax rate is going up, sometimes thousands of dollars. Uh, if your payment goes up $100 a month, they're going to charge you $200 a month the following year, 100 to make up for the last year's deficiency, 100 to make up for uh, not being deficient this year. So if that's $2,400, your payment could go up as high as $400 a month. That's really not sustainable for some purchasers. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important when you're buying a home to – to have a professional realtor who's going to explain to you the likelihood of that happening. There's a property tax estimator on the state of Michigan's website where one can go and actually uh, have a good idea what the worst case scenario is going to end up looking like. That's actually a very, very valid point because if somebody owned, owned that house since 1960, those property taxes are going to be very low. And when those, when it comes uncapped, they're going to go up, man. I mean, especially, man, I do a lot of work in Royal Oak, Berkeley, Birmingham. And I mean, these people, you know, they owned about the house in 1980 for whatever, you know. Whatever eighty thousand dollars, and you're buying it now for three fifty. Those taxes are not going to be two thousand bucks. They're no. going to be six thousand dollars. Absolutely, no, but you're Brad also seeing it because the prices were so low. They came right. down, and now they've risen so fast. You're seeing it on properties that people bought in 07, 08 yeah. that are selling for a hundred thousand dollars greater than what yeah, they purchased. Absolutely, well, and, right. and that's part of owning a house. And as Brad mentioned, there is a cap on that. So when you set your buyer, your borrower up for success, you explain all those things to them, and you go over and you can say, and you say, listen. Here are the principal interest tax insurance right now, but any increase, your payment could go up by as much as X. Absolutely. And then you qualify somebody on what they can afford. You don't qualify somebody on, um, you know, the future. I, I never bought into you grow into your mortgage. No, you don't grow into your mortgage. You have to make that mortgage payment every single month. There's no growing. Growing you, into it. You don't, you don't make it. You don't get to stay. So there's no growing into it. I mean, that, that term really bothered me, and it bothered me back in the late 80s and early 90s, and it bothers me today. All righty. When we come back, we're going to be taking all your calls. Open lines, 248-539-9797. Hi, Harry Glantz and Danberg for Capital Mortgage Funding. We do loans everywhere. In Southfield, in Birmingham, in Royal Oak, in Grosseal, in Detroit, in Canton, in Northville. No matter where you live, we want to do your mortgage too. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. All righty, welcome back. 917, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. That's where you save money on mortgages. You get a great, great rate, the best service. Get the knowledge you need to make the great decisions on home purchasing and refinancing. Call Capital, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Always live here in the studio at 248-539-9797. Lee, I'm going to take this call. we got so much to share with our listeners out there for buyers and sellers. Uh, let's roll out to Matt on a cell phone. Good morning, Matt. Welcome to our show. Uh, good morning, guys. Morning, um, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a call because um, I actually used to be in the industry about 11 years ago, and I had a friend ask me some advice, and you guys are already pretty knowledgeable, so I want to make sure I gave good advice. Okay, go ahead. Um, situation is he wants to do about twenty thousand dollars of repairs uh, or home improvements on his house. He said he the market value is about three hundred thousand. He owes about one hundred fifty thousand on his prime. He has no second right now. And the question was, he, he was wondering if he should take a loan against his retirement account. Uh, he could do uh, 3% paying himself back at a uh, five-year term. 
Uh, but I suggested he might also want to look into a home equity line of credit, which would give him a longer term. Even though it's at a higher rate, he'd have uh, potentially a lower um, monthly payment. You, right. What's the house worth? Well, 300000 300000 What's he on it? One fifty, Yost. What about his current rate and how many years left on his first mortgage? Those are the two important questions we didn't get. Um, what's so his current his, rate? His current, his current rate is three point um, eight five. And, and um, how many years it's left? Twenty year. It's a twenty year, and he has a, um, about seventeen years left on it. Well, he could get a here. I'm thinking he could get a fifteen year mortgage fixed. Uh, the rate would be lower than what he currently has, and take that twenty thousand dollars out. And I like that step. I like that move in that direction. Uh, this home- way, Matt, if, if he takes his money out of the market, he's not earning money on where it's at versus taking money and actually from someone else. He can probably earn a higher rate of return than what he's going to be paying on interest. And he could probably cut a few years out of his mortgage by taking the 15-year at a lower rate. So he could probably take money out with a lender, go through, have a lower payment most likely overall, cut out a few years, and still let his money make yeah. money for him in the market. Yeah, I like that one. I actually like yeah. refinancing the first mortgage. That right. way, not, not a second loan. There's no additional lien put onto the house. And uh, he well, actually no, moves forward he, and gets a 15 year. Yeah, he's going to use the equity without touching his retirement. I'm not a big fan of touching the retirement account, as you heard the other two gentlemen aren't either. I would tell you to use the equity, do the home improvement. He could go back on a 20 if he wanted, but he could also accelerate it to a 15. He paid off two years faster than he has now. That's a better plan. Yeah, the one thing you can't okay. get back, Matt, is time. You can't get back time that's invested in the right. market. You just can't. Yeah, knocking two years off a mortgage is is unbelievable. And, you know, just again for if it's thousand dollars a month payment, that's twenty four thousand dollars saved right there. He's only borrowing twenty, so yeah. a lot of opportunities there. Actually, any of the three choices would work. They could work, but I like the idea of getting into a fifteen okay. year fix with a lower well, rate. There's a good, better, and best option. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're looking for the best option for the guy. If the guy has that type of. Ex- Every day, this is 97.1 The Ticket. And we're brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of Novi. Red Wings fall at home in overtime to the Washington Capitals 4-3 now until Vetchkin's power play goal. Wings host Vancouver on Sunday. Pistons fall on the road at Washington 115-111 despite 21 for Reggie Jackson. Pistons on the road at the Knicks tonight, 8 p.m. right here on 97-1. The Ticket, Michigan football visiting Happy Valley and Penn State tonight. 7.30 to kick on AM 950 WWJ. MSU gets Indiana at home this afternoon. Tigers decline their $16 million option. Right-hander on Ebel Sanchez. They hired Ron Gardenhire as their manager yesterday. Justin Verlander, seven more shutout innings. Jose Altuve drives in three. Astros over the Yankees, 7-1, forcing a game seven today in the ALCS. That will be played in Houston. And the Wings finally agree to a deal. One year, $1.4 million with left winger Andreas Athanasiu. At the Ticket Update desk, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 97 theticketcom The Tigers, Red Wings, and Pistons all play here. 97 The Ticket. All righty, welcome back to the show. If you're just joining us, 932 here. Good morning. Sort of a beautiful day out there and a beautiful weekend. We're going to get one more of these for sure in. Could be the last hurrah. Could be, but again, a beautiful fall day okay. out there. Call Capital Mortgage. Get that approval letter. If you're working with a real estate agent and you don't have your approval letter, they're going to urge you. Make sure you get an approval letter from a local lender. That's going to give you the most amount of uh, negotiation. And go with a trusted one like Capital Mortgage Funding. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. I got some comments on that stuff, too, here, if you want to. Oh. Um, my comments were that Fannie Mae did an actual survey. They were surveying a lot of millennials, the ages of 18 to 34. To, sort of interesting what the responses were, but they put a lot of trust. They put 30, 32% of the people said that they trust what their mortgage banker says, uh, 30% trusted their real estate agent, wow. and then it trickles down all the way to friends and family. So what do you mean? Does that, mean, does that mean 68% them. of the people don't trust their mortgage banker? No, it and means that, six, and it 70% means that don't trust six, their realtor? 62% of the folks out there are getting their information from real estate agents and mortgage bankers. Okay. Deal with somebody who's been around a long, long time. Again, it's not always a friend or a family, and deal with a local lender. I think that's a key. If you wanted to comment on that. Uh, yeah, it, we, is, it is imperative to use a lender that, that you can trust, has a great reputation, uh, that's held in a high regard. Again, if you if you have five offers that you're competing against and your pre-approvals from a lending institution that's less than reputable, 
you're just not going to get an opportunity. Brad, are there certain lenders that you you see a pre-approval from that you just know you're like, I'm skeptical right out the game? There are numerous that I see right off the get-go that I'm just... Let me ask you this. Is it not only in real estate, not only in mortgages, let's talk about life. Let's talk about if you get a referral on anything. Yeah. Yep. Don't you want to go with somebody that's trusted? It's just not the real estate mortgage industry. It's anything. I think it's any field. I agree. If you're going to anything, if you're going to a doctor, lawyer, or, or an Indian chief, you want to go to the best one, or you want to go somebody that's going to fit your need, that specializes in your area. So why not? I mean, it's just not in real estate mortgage banking. I know I'm getting crazy. I, I like, this I like but it's, it's really anything. I like use the doctor reference. Like no one ever has the worst doctor. <laughs> Everyone's got the best doctor. The best like, one, no, right? No well, one just has like, oh, it's this well, guy's okay. It seems <laughs> like we all live online. I mean, there's no doubt Americans are online. Where you know, Everybody's if you get the online. Facebook, they're chit and chat. I mean, you get some great information on there, but there's nothing is better than meeting someone face to face and going over all the details. And they have found that just being online is less than it was like less than eighteen percent of people felt confident with working with just people I, online. I Again, don't think you can ever get too much information or <laughs> you, too much education. Do you know what the internet, I, I, I do do what the internet is have... for? What well, else? Do you know what the internet oh, is here for? We go. Oh, stop. Okay, Brad, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> it's, not, it's not for What I was going to say is information is key, but being able to understand the information is paramount. Right. If, you, if you have a ton of information that you're looking at, and I'll, I'll give you an example. I, one of the things that I prefer to do is have a consultation with my buyer before we go out and even look at any property, set the expectation at what homes are selling for so that when it comes time to write an offer, they write a solid offer on a house that they want. Well, goals and objectives and they have a plan, right? Absolutely. What's your goal? How long do you plan on staying in the house? Is this your first house, second house? Is this your permanent house? Is this where you're going to raise your family? So school system, shopping, everything comes into play. Everything that comes into okay, play. What's your plan, right? So you diagram a plan, and then you go ahead and you tailor your search when you're taking people out or if they want to shop on the Internet or however you guys do it. I'm just yeah. telling you, you're going to go look at those houses. Absolutely. And, and oftentimes I'll have buyers who will ask, you know, how many homes should I see before I make an offer? Well, that's different for everybody because you've probably been shopping online and looking at homes for months and sometimes a year before you actually go out and look. So that very first house very likely could have been the house that you really wanted to. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger. Like you said, in the hot areas, there might only be a handful of uh, homes that come up on the marketplace, whether it be Royal Oak or downtown Ann Arbor, wherever, Macomb or one of the hot cities, maybe downtown Romeo. Those homes come on the marketplace. There's multiple bids. There are already Absolutely. people waiting for homes to come on the marketplace. And again, we talked about in the in the past a lot of these pocket listings. There are still the, the agents that are top notch that have been around a long time. They do get the call from another agent. Absolutely. You can reach. And, and again, we use we see Facebook and some of the other digital marketing tools being used, where it says, "Hey, I've got a buyer ready in this price range." And then sometimes these are more pocket listings. Absolutely, it's it's not uncommon for more experienced agents to communicate with each other when they have a listing coming on. So you get an inside track potentially for your clients as well. It, it really can make the difference between shopping for a month or shopping for a year. You see a lot of pocket listings currently or no? Um, not necessarily a, a lot of pocket listings. We do get advance notice of some listings that will come on. In our market, you know, my professional opinion is a home is best to hit the MLS because it's going to drive the price where it should be. Where it should be? Yeah. Just for listeners, a pocket listing means the, you basically you call a realtor and say, you know, you, you don't list your house. Officially, but you right. say if someone wants to buy it, you know, we'll entertain an offer. Well, the great agents are out there, and they're definitely doing a lot more interesting marketing things than they did way back in the day. Like, now we're starting to see the signs go up saying, hey, this home is going to be on the market soon, Correct. that type of yep. thing. So Coming soon. When it does hit the marketplace, Absolutely. it might just be sprucing it up. There are those multiple bids. All right, open lines all morning long here, 248-539-9797. Be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funding and get that approval letter. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You're going to save a lot of money. And also, with these low, low interest rates and all this equity we're talking about, of course, now is still the best time ronnie you know it you know it also now is still the best time to refinance your house and really drop the interest rate but take a look at dropping the term and that has been the key to really gaining back your equity again if you owe two hundred thousand on a house ronnie today right. and you refinance and close on a 15 year and next week you still owe two hundred thousand, but you only have 15 years left yeah. to pay that off and i really love and we've urged that for so many buyers out there. Are you going to let Ron talk or no? Yeah, Just I'm going to let him go there. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, Ron, you know that 15 years has been great. The 15 years has been great. And, you know, when you're, if you're saving 15000 a year times 15 years, it's $200,000. You have Ronnie, to look at it that way. How old are you? Don't <laughs> what do you how say? young he is. What is wrong look at this guy. Come on. You're amazing, buddy. Okay. Rock and roll, bud. 
Thank you. Uh, the hardest working you're looking guy. good, partner. Ronnie's the hardest working buyer's agent out there. That's for sure. You know, the, the, when you, if you're a buyer and you want to buy a house, you sit down with Ronnie. Uh, you got a true mortgage banker sitting down with you, and that's the key is learn what all your options are. And, again, we talk about so many different options out there. One of the options that so many people talk about is, you know, they still are confused with how much money they need to work with. So funds sure. to close. Um and then I think it's really shocking, and we still talk to so many families, you don't need 20%. I don't even know how that's still out there. Buying houses as little as 3% down with all the zero down programs that are Absolutely. on out there. And then the choices, too, the lender paid PMI program. We've that's been, a great program. We've had that program, program forever. Again, you can put less than 20% down. Keep the money in your pocket. Keep the money saved in case you need to do home improvements for the house, consolidate debt in the future, or even put those kids away to college. So the key is everyone's situation is a little bit different. And if you're working with the real professionals, they're going to show you all these options. Yeah, there, we had a situation in the office the other day where we were putting somebody on a conventional loan. And with the PMI and even the lender paid MI, the uh, payment was $150 a month higher so we took it to an FHA transaction, and the MIP premium was actually lower wow. than the LPMI and they were low the credit PMI. Score. Yeah. So yeah, they had a low exactly. Yeah. They had a uh, low credit score, and it came out to where we put them in a program, set them up for success, got them on an FHA transaction, three and a half percent down, and saved somebody one hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah, that's so a lot. That, that's, pretty, that's pretty rewarding. I mean, you know, at the end of the a year. Month 50 a month, dude, that's a lot, man. is a lot of money. At the end of the year, if I handed you a check for $1,800, would you give it back to me or would you take it to the bank and cash it? I'm yeah, I, year I, I, year I might cash right. it. Not, you, you might know, cash it. I might possibly cash it. After four years, you're looking at over $7,000 in savings, and it adds up. And then here he is. You mentioned in that particular situation. In that situation, too, there's still always the opportunity a year or two later to improve your credit score. So here you are with maybe a six, high 600. You're a conventional buyer. 634. Ooh, that was even tough. Oh, so although God. they could get approved conventionally, it might have made more sense to take the FHA, FHA offer. Well, that's why. So what you do is you have to be, you have to sit with somebody. You have to look at somebody that's rolling over all your options. Okay, you're looking at it. You're checking it out. You're, you're doing the math. And you do it the old school way. I mean, take a look. Here, everybody. You do it the old school way. You write things down. You take out your calculator and you say, hey, what's best for this client? I love that you still take notes. I'm the same way, dude. I can't, can't help it. I'm the same, Always. exact same way. I like, things in an, I like things in an order, okay? You know, not just shotgun approach. I like to do things in a certain I'm order. You, I sit down, it seems so, to work. I sit down Sunday night and I make my list for the week and, and then go from there, man. It's, it's I'm old school. Sorry. All right. You can't yeah. do everything on your phone, my man. All right. Tons to share with you. Keep I it here on 97 won the ticket. 248 539 9797. We'll be right back with all your calls. Hi, Harry Glantz and Danberg for Capital Mortgage Funding. We do loans everywhere. In Southfield, in Birmingham, in Royal Oak, in Grosseal, in Detroit, in Canton, in Northville. No matter where you live, we want to do your mortgage too. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Welcome back to the show, 932, if you're just joining us. Not the greatest looking day out there, but hey, it's fall here in Michigan. Get out there and enjoy. If you need an approval letter, be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funding. We're going to talk about that. There's a real difference between approval letters and pre-qualification, so we got a lot to share with you. Come and join the show at 248 248- Five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Was that your neighbor that asked that question? Yeah, Juliet. Uh, she's Juliet, a boss, she's cool banana bread. <laughs> she's, she I can, that banana bread. She, right, she can bake. She's a great Jules. mom. She's cool, but she always keeps us on our toes. Hey, Lee. Good. Speaking about that, uh, a lot of different programs out there. As you know, down payment programs with zero down on the USDA loans. I want to say that uh, Capital Mortgage Funding. We're part. Our organization is part of the number one lender in most units of USDA loans. Zero down loans. Um, for they do have income limits, but really across Michigan, um, not in the in the rural areas, not not in the yeah. city, it has right. to be but, a rural area, yeah, in a rural area. But all our counties have them here, including all of basically all of Livingston, uh, pretty much all of Washtenaw, uh, Wayne, Macomb, and Oakland do have parts that that fit in this program. So lots of zero down program, but three percent down conventional, three and a half percent down FHA. It's a great time to buy a house. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's a lot of because everyone says, do you guys offer that? Do you offer that? The answer is yes for you guys. You have a program yeah. for it, and you'll yeah, make we, it work. 
for everything. And then I'm talking about some other things, Lee. You know, we talked about some just reduce signs out there. Hey, there's nothing around. This time of year, we do see a lot of real estate signs and names out there, and, and they're, they're buying a lot of just reduce. So, I mean, maybe that is the sign that, hey, these houses that were, you know, everyone was fighting over, whatever's left come September, well, October, when the kids go back to school. Lee, let's keep it real here, okay? Like if you went through time. the spring selling season, the summer selling season, now you're in the fall and you haven't sold your house and the market's <laughs> hot, and you put on a just reduce sign, chances are, your man, house was overpriced. Your house was a little <laughs> too high. Yeah, it. Uh, the market is a moving target. People always say, what's my house worth? And I can tell them what their house is worth today, but it's going to change. But if you sit through that summer, this summer, and your house is still on the market, it's time to look in the mirror and face some serious facts. Either you're crazy or your realtor is crazy, or you guys just aren't living in the real world. Or maybe, maybe you're just fishing. Yeah, absolutely. And maybe it, you stuck a line in the water. Maybe you got a bite. Maybe you didn't. Yeah, that, what, what's wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with that? I think there's a huge problem with that. And the reason I say is your home price is either going to go up or down. And the second I see what your house was listed at and it's been sitting, I'm never, ever, ever going to give you asking price. Never. My clients aren't going to give you asking price. No one is. The second they see that your house has been there 15, 30, 45 days, the instant question I get is, what's wrong with that house? Yeah, why is it sitting? What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, what's you got to get a second opinion in there. Luckily, we know that there's been you know, a, a rash, you know, two to 3,000 brand new agents right here in the Tri County right. area. I mean, Maybe there is a difference between someone who's brand new and someone who's got some additional experience that can bring some additional opinions to what's going on with the transaction yeah, or, or not. You know, Lee Harvey and Joe. I Jeff Rieger, Game Day Uncensored, Sundays on 97.1, The Ticket. We always make the extra point. 97.1, The Ticket. Welcome back to the show, 946, if you're just joining us. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Call us at Capital all week long, all weekend long. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You're going to save a ton of money. Not only that, you're going to learn what the process is all about. We'll show you how to do it the right way at Capital Mortgage Funding. Go into your purchase transaction with a ton of knowledge. The knowledge gives you the confidence to make the right offer. And I'll tell you, we make more successful homeowners than most. Call Why Capital. are you smiling over there, Ronnie? <laughs> Do you like that, Ronnie? That's a game? great move. Call Ron, Ronnie. Ronnie likes being in the studio. That's right. He's on you're Facebook Live so, right you're, now. You're Look. just so happy, buddy. Hey guys, I want to throw this out there because it keeps popping up. And again, we do a great, I'll tell you, we just do a great, phenomenal job on mortgages all around. But one of the things I've always had my, my hand on, usually typically each month I'll get land contract payoffs. And it's real sticky out there. Um, I had a call this week that I wanted to bring up because anyone listening out there, again, if you have a situation where you're borderline, you're having trouble getting a mortgage, be sure to call Capital Mortgage for two reasons. We may confirm that you can't get a mortgage now, but more importantly, we're going to set you up so that you can get a mortgage here maybe next year, the year after the year after that, because like any contract, there's, there's, there's terms. And I spoke to a gentleman this week and he called me and he says, Hey, I, I don't have to pay it off till July. Well, he was more of an FHA borrower. If I'm going to, if I'm going to improve his credit score and his ratios and get them all fixed up, he's an FHA borrower. Problem is he has a land contract on a condominium that's not FHA approved. That's a huge and, problem. And I'm telling you, problem. there's a lot of families out there that, that run into these things and they don't have to. They just have to get more professional people. And that's why I urge you to call Capital Mortgage 1-800-LOW-RATE. Well, everything isn't that. about today, today, today. We try to set people up for success in the future. We'll work with you if you have uh, some credit challenges. Alex Nafusi has this awesome credit software that he can actually get your over time now, if you owe money and you're not paying it, you can't get that off your, you know, <laughs> let's say this, you cannot get that off your credit record. Right. However, over time, with on-time payments and a plan, your credit score is going to go up anywhere from 10 to 40 points. Alex does that as well as everybody in our office. We do that on an ongoing basis. 
But the bottom line is we try to work with people over time and make them successful and advise people on making right decisions. Well, there's certain things you can pay off or pay down credit card wise. I mean, your debt ratio that, that has a huge impact on your credit score. And it's you're carrying over, you know, a balance over 50 percent of, of the card limit. It, it's a problem. Yeah. Even, even if you're making the, the payment on time. It's 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 digging at your scores. Nationally, there's been a lot of talk about these credit bureaus. Obviously, there's problems out there, and there's oh, mistakes. Think, oh, you think so? And not really? only now there's problems. There's some mistakes out there too. So Harry's it's shaking just, his head. We're it's, in trouble. It's upon you. No, he's okay with it. But there's problems because there's inaccurate information, and a lot of times you might have had a civil judgment you didn't pay or off. Like you don't it, even or, know or, about or, it. Or, wait, hold on. Or, or it's hacked. Well, well every, that, that's but, a little bit that. different. But listen to me. Everything, and you know, when you come out and the Equifax getting hacked, Target getting hacked. Listen, you hear these things and you see these things, but then I'm more worried about the things that you don't hear and see. People are getting hacked every day. There's identity theft going on every single day. I understand, day. but if, so if you're getting hacked, how can you actually like say that I'm, you're being accurate reporting information? Well, there you go. What, what it's a good shout out to do is check out your credit. Again, you're allowed a free annual yeah, credit, annual report. credit you report. You can always yep. call Capital Mortgage Funding if you're out there looking at buying a house and preparing yourself. We'll run you the real mortgage th- credit report. You know, I think the entire credit reporting system is completely flawed because it's well, all. Se- well, it is because there's no mathematical formula. How do you know how do you, how do you get your credit score better? I got an idea. Run that credit expert program we have. Yeah, pay I your got bills. An idea. Your bills. <laughs> make your payments. Thing. Okay, so what if you make a million dollars a year, but you're carrying a hundred thousand dollars in credit card debt? That's not a lot, comparatively That's, speaking. Exactly, but your credit score is going to go down if you don't make your payments. No, if you're carrying a balance on the credit card. Not, not if you make. I, no, if you make your payments on time and you carry a balance and you show a history of making on-time payments, you're going to have a good credit rating. I have a client right now that makes over a million bucks a year that carries over a hundred grand in credit card yeah. every month because he, he that's what he does. He travels expensive. Artificially low credit scores? Okay, so what's yes. his credit score? 658. Yeah, that's, that is ridiculous. And he, that he, he, he pays every single thing on time. The guy's never missed a so payment what ever. you're telling me in, the wor- in his world, he's making every single payment yes. on time. He has no credit yes. blemishes and he's only a 650. Yes. You I know the client. It. You do see I, this I, on occasion. You, see you know who occasion. this is. I, I'm, I'm wa- telling you right now that I think the whole I'm system's going flawed. on record. I'm going to challenge that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, so we have I'm, a just, good I'm show. just on the record out there. I'm on the record. I will show you afterwards. Okay. Um, but, yeah, right. I'm telling you right now. I think it's the whole system's flawed. Uh, Thank you. It's the system we have right now to work with, though. We are going to use what we have. We're going to definitely use what we have. And speaking of which, how much money do you have saved to purchase a house? That's I one love of the most. I guess I'm so happy right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I hear this word a lot. You're passionate. I am. I, yes, you're passionate. I am passionate. I was I, passionate when I was 12. I wanted to be a Detroit Tiger. How'd that work out? Pretty good. You could have made well, it. Thank you. Brad, one of the things we always talk about, too, which makes the process so much easier is really preparing the client for success. And we talk about it, it really lies with the beginning of the sure. transaction is that documentation and having your ducks in a row. Also, having your funds in, in, in all together and in a row. And then also we've had some situations where families did some short sales in the past. There's rules and guidelines out there. The, the guidelines, I think, are quite reasonable if you had... You know, a bankruptcy, uh, Chapter 7, uh, and you concluded your house in it, you can show that, and you can get a new conventional mortgage four years later after that day. So there's a lot of these different things out there that you can do, um, whether it be a three-year after a bankruptcy or a four-year, depending upon what type of mortgage. But there are rules and guidelines out there. And, again, one of the things that popped up this week, we see different things that pop up with some families, is if you had something, like you had a rental property, you've made all your payments, but you sold the rental on a short sale or you had a foreclosure, Definitely find out when that was because that could be something that could pop up on you. We just want to make sure everything goes smooth. Yeah, and and sometimes, you know, I think saving your documentation from your closing is very important because oftentimes, well, let's not say often, it does happen occasionally that the proper documents weren't recorded and you're going to need those documents from your closing to be able to satisfy what is still showing up on your credit report. So it's important to be organized. Uh, Equally, uh, I see it daily, if not weekly, when your loan officer asks you for all of your bank statements, provide all of your bank statements. Yeah, all the blank pages. page. You know, they're, the oh, buyers Ron. are... Hey, are, Ron, how are you, buddy? All right. Time in, there. Bud. there you go. Yeah, funds to close are always funds a hurdle for some families. Yeah. Again, if you're, still, if you're looking at buying a house and you're, you're going to be using a gift, well, there's a process to the gift funds. Absolutely. Um, if you're... Yes. If someone owes you some money and you think all of a sudden the month you're buying a house, they're going to pay you all that money and you're going to deposit this... You know, money, you have to document where the money came from. So there's many, many reasons why it's so important to get with that mortgage banker ahead of time. Yeah, some, some of the, the pain of going through the mortgage process is self-inflicted. If, if, <laughs> yeah, if folks well, would just wow. listen Thank you. and follow the instructions. Do we just become best friends? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No one got that, Step Brothers? Anybody?
No? That's good. Is this thing on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having too much fun, Harvey. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm oh, laughing today. Yeah, it's okay. okay. I'm in a good mood. Happy yeah. Alex. Well, it's good. But, uh, you know, in our area, so much of our identity around Metropolitan Detroit, even Ann Arbor, especially in Ann Arbor when there's 105,000 people every Saturday there in the big house, is sports-oriented. Yes, okay? absolutely. So, you know, downtown last night at the hockey game, across the streets, Comerica Park, around the corner is, uh, you know, Ford Field. you got all four sports teams down there. You know, we're passionate about what we do. So much of our identity comes from our sports teams. We live in a major league city. So what you're finding is this new renaissance of urban areas, and all you have to do is take a look at downtown areas. You want to go downtown Birmingham? You want to go downtown Rochester, downtown Northville, downtown Plymouth? You want to go downtown Royal Oak? Go downtown Berkeley? Go downtown now? Other areas like Clawson, Hazel Clawson's Park? Take a look at it. It's outstanding. So, yeah. so you want to be in an area as a realtor where there's walkability. Now, I can't think of another place that has more walkability than Ann Arbor. Ann Arbor right? does does have fantastic walkability. So you have that, and, people, and people, well, look, I could go green. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> go I, I will tell you, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I can go tell green. you, people want to be, thanks, Ron, you want to be engaged. <laughs> people want to be engaged. The <laughs> Wherever they are, they want to be engaged now. And I think it's wonderful, and it brings a vibe and an energy Absolutely. to areas, and I think that that's what you're seeing. Absolutely. I, I, I do think there's a... Uh, resurgence of people trying to get back to an urban area. Walkability is really important. Uh, sustainability in an area where it's bringing people in is has always been an issue. Uh, I do think that cities like Ann Arbor, Northville, uh, the Plymouth. big draw, Plymouth, absolutely, it has to do with everything that's available to do, both socially, right. uh, dinner, Activity-wise. Great school you know, districts. School districts are fantastic in a lot yeah. of these communities. It's like when you're on Tinder, it's easy to meet someone who's walked on there. Oh, easy. boy. <laughs> Swipe left or right. Yeah. Oh, I don't nice. even know which way to go. How do you know that? I don't. I just know it's left or right. Wow. Which way Which way is the like? I, yeah. I don't know. You liar. He's, he's, <laughs> you know damn well Brad, which way it is. You guys are always, <laughs> come on now. Family man giving a shout-out to my uh, wife. Just yeah, I gotta, for sure. Hey, you uh, better and sweetest day. Hey, you know what? I'm glad you guys brought that up. That's not even a real holiday. That's a Hallmark holiday just to get paid. Hey, sure it is. It's a real hey, holiday. If it gives me extra credit, I'm good with it. All right, absolutely. Fair enough. Brad, no doubt, though, that this fell into the uh, the world of real estate is, you know, not only do you have these great walkable cities, um, you know, it's the school districts, it's the house, it's the community, it's all those great things that really make up a city, and home ownership is still flourishing. Wait, that, wait that's it? I'm not done yet. That is it. The music <laughs> says it's in. Brad I'm Jordan, we yet. want to thank you. You're awesome. We'll have you I back appreciate on. appreciate it. Thanks very much. All right, it's a real fast hour here on the Hardcore Mortgage Ronnie Show. Ronnie J, you did great, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming on. I yeah, appreciate Ronnie. that. And we got sports here on 97.1 all day long. Uh, again, it's been another version of the Hardcore Mortgage Show. Be sure to call Capital Mortgage Funding at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You can always shoot us an email, themortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. Keep it here on 97.1, the ticket for Alex Nfusi, Harry Glanz. I'm Harvey Freed. We'll see you next Saturday. Hi, Harry Glanz and Danberg for Capital Mortgage Funding. We do loans everywhere. In Southfield, in Birmingham, in Royal Oak, in Grosseal, in Detroit, in Canton, in Northville. No matter where you live, we want to do your mortgage too. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker.